Hey, good morning, friends. Today is uh, Thursday, the 20th of June. I uh, hope you are doing well today. Uh, today, we are looking at Psalm uh, 86. Psalm 86, this is one of the David prayers. Uh, this is a prayer coming from somebody who's in the midst of a, of a difficult situation. Lots of these psalms are. Uh, this is one, he's going to use the phrase poor, needy. He's going to be in distress. Uh, and he's crying out to God in the midst of that. So the, the instinct that the, the David has in these prayers is when trials come, it's a, it's a first instinct to go to God with them. And um, I'm just reminded, at least in my own life, how many times when, when a difficult thing comes up, how often I just try to fix it on my own, with my own effort, just try a little harder, put a little bit more work in, come in a little earlier, whatever it may be. And it's not that those things aren't, um, appropriate by any means, but uh, but what happens is that we assume that it's that, that we're going to figure it out on our own without first going to to God and saying, Lord, how would you guide me here? How would you help me in in, in the situation I'm in? So let's listen for um, God's word to us through this prayer of David this morning. Hear me, Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Guard my life, for I am faithful to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I call to you all day long. Bring joy to your servant, Lord, for I put my trust in you. You, Lord, are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all who call to you. Hear my prayer, Lord. When I listen to my cry for mercy, when I am in distress, I call to you, for you answer me. Among the gods, there is none like you, Lord. No deeds compare with yours. All the nations you have made will come and worship before you, O Lord. They will bring glory to your name. For you are great and do marvelous deeds. You alone are God. Teach me your way, Lord, that I might rely on your faithfulness. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. I will praise you, Lord, my God, with all my heart. I will glorify your name forever. For great is your love toward me. You've delivered me from the depths, from the realm of the dead. Arrogant foes are attacking me, O oh God. Ruthless people try to kill me. They have no regard for you. But you, Lord, are compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Turn to me and have mercy on me. Show your strength in behalf of your servant. Save me, for I serve you just as my mother did. Give me a sign of your goodness, that my enemies may see it and be put to shame. For you, Lord, have helped me, and you have comforted me. It's interesting, that little note, uh, kind of a a shout out to his his mother. <laughs> I, I, I trust in you as my mother did, right? And I, I love that. I love this uh, recognition that um, uh, the, 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 the faith gets passed on. We learn from our parents and our children learn from us. And uh, and so much of it is is caught in the midst of, you know, we, we catch these instincts, we catch these habits and ways of being. Our gospel reading today comes from Matthew 18, 1 through 9. Now the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And he called a child whom he put among them and said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. But if any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great millstone were fastened around your neck and you were drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world because of stumbling blocks. Occasions for stumbling are bound to come, but woe to the one by whom the stumbling block comes. If your hand or your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off, throw it away. It is better for you to enter life maimed or lame than to have two hands or two feet and to be thrown into the eternal fire. If your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out and throw it away. It's better for you to enter life with one eye than to have two eyes to be thrown into the hell of fire. In um, 
in in church a couple weeks ago we looked at the mark version of the same story i always just have to feel like i just have to remind us that this is hyperbole this is not literal right he's not literally saying cut your hands off um but he is saying that the that, that even though hands are a great blessing even more is the blessing of the eternal life the fullness of life that god offers through jesus christ it's not even worth comparing Well, I want to invite you, friends, to join me as we go to God with our prayers of thanksgiving and intercession. Let us pray. God of all mercies, we praise you. You've brought us to this new day. You've brightened our lives with the dawn of promise and given us hope in Christ. Today, Lord, we thank you for ministries of discernment and governance. We thank you for those who teach and those who learn. Thank you for the community of faith in your church. We thank you for reconciliation in our relationships. Thank you for gifts of healing and forgiveness. Friends, I invite you to lift up your own prayers of thanksgiving. Merciful God, strengthen us in prayer that we would lift up the brokenness of this world for your healing that we would share in the saving love of Jesus Christ. Today, Lord, we pray for the church in Europe. We pray for the lonely and forgotten. We pray for those from whom we are estranged. pray for all who glorify you in worship and service. I encourage you to lift up your own prayers of petition. Eternal God, you are the source of every gift. You are the fountain of every blessing. Give us such joy in living and such peace in serving Christ that we would gratefully make use of all your blessings, that we would joyfully seek our risen Lord in every person we meet. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. Friends, I appreciate being with you today. I hope you are able to enjoy the day, see God's presence in the midst of it, that you would uh, know the love and the joy and the peace of our risen Savior, Jesus. God bless, friends. We'll see you soon.